channel and welcome back or if you're new around here hello and welcome my name is Katie Marie and on my channel I like to play with makeup and my videos are very raw unedited uh, when it comes to the style of my videos I just let it roll and we play with makeup and today I'm super excited for the makeup that I'm gonna get to play with today because it is a new collection from Odin's Eye and Odin's Eye is once again collaborating with three previous collaborators and continuing their legendary Diversa collection so the collaborators are Annette Oh, oh, Abrastad. No, Abrastad. Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. I should have just not even tried to say her last name, but Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner here on YouTube. We also have, um, oh, I should have said, but she's coming out with the Mighty Monsters palette, which is such a beautiful cover. My children and I have already spent so long just looking at the covers because Odin's artwork is so beautiful, and these are no exception. We also have the Spring Dragon palette. This is with Judy, a collaboration with Judy, who's also here on YouTube. I will leave all of these collaborators' channels linked down below if you are not familiar with them. You can check their channels out and then we also have earthwood palette this is for uh, collaboration with the fancy face here on youtube now they collaborated with all of these uh, uh influencers i think two years ago i really am struggling to remember here is one of them back here this is um annette's collaboration i want to say it was two maybe three years ago i'm so bad when it comes to like time and remembering how far back in time things were but um it was a couple years ago, so they're collaborating with them again, and they have a beautiful collection. So they're coming out. Each of them, they each came out with a palette. They also each comes or have launched a magnet to go along with their collection. So we have these adorable, like this is a snake, this is a little bird, and then this is a little dragon. They also have keychains, which I love. Their keychains are so beautiful. My daughter usually tries to take them because they're so pretty. She wants to hang them on her backpack and stuff. But again, the same little cute characters, and they have little charms inside. Absolutely adorable. And then each of the palettes also comes with some lip products. So we have all of these are the shine so they're more like a lip gloss and we have two for earthwood two for mighty monster and two for spring dragon and then earthwood and mighty monsters has a glow which is uh, if I remember correctly, we'll open it up, but it's mostly clear just with a lot of glow um, for that collaboration. And then the Spring Dragon has a matte, which I was so excited to at least have one matte because you guys know I love a matte lipstick. So anyway, so many new products. Let's go ahead and open them up really quick because in this video, obviously I only have like one face. I'm only going to do one look and then hopefully in a couple days we're going to see where, how, how much time I get to film this next week leading up to the launch. But I hope to be able to uh, post a video with each of these, you know, creating a look with each of these if not before or at least around at the time of the launch but anyway this is a spring dragon palette with um what do you call it? judy and it is a very fun kind of like a grungy pastel very muted colors really pretty and if i remember correctly from her last a collaboration it was more red and green or red and brown so you know something nice new and different and i bet the two would like pair together really nice if you have the previous collection then um annette from annette's makeup corner has this beautiful saturated dark color story going on here with a lot of very beautiful dark tones some pretty shimmers of course and then some pops of color there very interested to see what i can create with this it's a fun color story that's going to make me think i think to like put looks together and then the fancy face has the earthwood palette this cover is just stunning and it looks i should have taken all these off before but it looks like this again a very different take i feel like from their original uh, it's not none of the palettes like scream color and like bold but they all scream like a uniqueness to them that i'm super excited to get into so i think for my first one i'm gonna have to do annette from annette's makeup corner just because like I said it's so interesting it's got some pops with that bright red I'm hoping that kind of leans more yellow or like a mustard that'd be really pretty it's got the green I don't know I want to try this it has a pop of pastel blue like how am I gonna try that and then this uh, misguard gleam I'm really hoping is a uh, a multi crumb but I really don't know if there are multi crumbs in here really pretty orange regardless if it's a multi crumb or not I think it's just an intense orange maybe it's got a little green in there more more of a duochrome maybe but so pretty I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one so hopefully like I said I'm gonna try my best to see if I can get oh my mirror came on um, a video with each of these put up before it launches and if I don't get it before it launches at least around when it uh, launches but let's go ahead and dive in to Annette's collection or Annette's palette and I guess what did I say this is Mighty Monster so let's check out the lipsticks with her collection we can do that 
that's how we can kind of break this up because it's a lot a lot of a lot of lipsticks in front of me and I can't get through all of them and do a eye look before my daughter wakes up so trying to be wise about my time oh so pretty let me open these up really quick what did I say mighty monster is her palette is what her palette's called such a beautiful snake so pretty like the detail per usual when it comes to Odin's eye. So beautiful. Oh, I almost forgot. They also all came with scarves. They're um, little, uh, not little, but they're square scarves. They're beautiful. My daughter already asked for them. So they're in her room right now or else I would show you, but they're really pretty and she loves to like hang them up on her walls. It's just like a bigger version of what you see on the cover. So that's also gonna be available when these launch. Oh my goodness, look. The boxes themselves are so beautiful. Like I always feel bad throwing these away. But look at these, blue to purple. Oh, so, so pretty. So let's see, what did I say? We have two shine and one glow. So let's open them up so I can kind of get an idea. of. So I think the shine is almost like, ooh yes, my type of a lip gloss. They're more of a pigmented lip gloss. They're not that the, the shines have color to them, which is a type of lip gloss, lipstick in general, lip product that I like to wear on the day to day just because it, it gives some you know coverage to your lips, but it also gives that glossy look. And then the, sh the glow, Breath of Fire, is I'm assuming just gonna be more of a clear gloss, maybe with sparkle in it. Ooh, it's like a, a red. But yes, it has sparkle in it, but it's a lot more sheer, kind of like the typical lip gloss. And it has, I would say, hot pink purple looking uh, glitter in it, very pretty. So I'll definitely be using one of these for sure when uh, with the completed look, but we'll have to see what my eye look turns out to be like to figure out which one's which. So those are the three lip products that are in the Mighty Monsters collection or uh, but yeah, palette collection, whatever you want to call it, for Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. So I'm going to wipe that off before I get that everywhere. And let's get started. I'm going to set all of these over here so I can do them later. Like I said, I'm going to really try to get um, uh, looks with all of them up before it launches, but I do have family coming into town, which is kind of going to make it a little bit interesting, but we'll see. If I get the opportunity to film, I film. And if, uh, if I don't do it before it launches, I will try my best to do it within the week of it launching. But not that you need my videos before it launches, but just for reference and to be as helpful as I can. All right, so let's dive in. I'm using the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills primer. I'm gonna take a clean brush. If you missed it, I think my last video will have been when I uh, cleaned out this room. I got really sick. What was it two weeks ago at this point and just with being sick I was in my room slash bathroom a lot of it and when you're sick you're still a mom so I had my daughter in with me and not to say that she did everything but even before that my this room was just behind on being cleaned it was a cluttery mess but then with my daughter in my room with me she would come in here and she had taken the majority of my drawers for my makeup and just dumped them on the floor so there was makeup everywhere so I needed to clean it up before I could sit down and just feel relaxed when I'm sitting here and doing my makeup. So that's what I did yesterday. And I'm pretty sure as I said, that video is already up, but let's go ahead and dive in. Oh, so, so pretty. What am I gonna do? I really, my eyes go straight to that dark green. So I think I'm gonna start there. And I, like I said, I wanna use this color. I wanna see how orangey it is or if it's more of a mustard. So I think I might put that on the outer corner, but then I kind of want to put the blue on the inner corner. I feel like that blue would be really fun on the inner half. But then I don't know, hmm, I don't know if I should use any of those kind of browns to act as an in-between. I am going to go ahead and really quickly um, look at the color wheel, because that, if I'm ever stuck and like don't really know what to uh which way to go i just need a visual to see and so i want to do blue on the inner half and then go to green so i could use or go to yellow so i could use those browns to help transition it but um i'll see if i can just do it alone with these two colors and if these two are having too hard of a time meshing together i'll probably reach for this brown just to smooth it out but let's go ahead and start we're going to put the green on the outer corner this is going to the inner corner in a bit but we're going to start with the green on the outer corner I gotta get focused here. I'm gonna take the E27, my favorite little brush from Sigma for the outer corner. And I'm going to make sure I'm zoomed in, or not zoomed in, but I'm focused. And we're gonna tap this right there. Obviously my face is already done, so I am hoping not to make a big mess. 
This is a green blue type of green. So I could put that blue on the outer half and it would probably mesh together really beautifully, but I don't want to do that. I want it to stay more of that green color on the outer corner. So we're going to tap this on there. I am being very light when I pick it up and uh, when I pick it up from the pan. So I want to build it gradually. Not really seeing any fallout, which is also what I want to see. If you're new to my channel or to Odin's Eye, or both, um, I am a pretty big fan of Odin's Eye, especially their mattes. Their shimmers, they have so many different types of like shimmery products that some of them I really, really love and some of them I really just don't. So it just depends on the, the type that they're using, whether I'll enjoy it or not. Um, but for the most part, I really do like their formula. They have a very good, solid formula. And their packaging just gets like extra bonus points because they're so pretty when you display them. And I'm someone who definitely, I like pretty makeups. I like to be able to display my makeup. So I love their, their product packaging. And obviously this collection, like, oh my goodness, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna take a slightly larger, what kind of brush do I want to take? Um, oh my goodness, with all of them clean, I don't know where to go. I'm going to take the Singe Beauty E02, and I'm going to go into Solar Burst, that shade right there, because I just really want to know what this one is like. If I'm being honest, I just want to know how orange, how yellow it is, where it falls. So I'm going to tap it over, pick up a little bit more. I'm doing more tapping motions to place. I want to get as much color. Okay, it's leaning more of that orange, which is good. I was kind of afraid it'd be more of a muted yellow, but I like a good, like a bold mustard, if that's a thing. I hope I'm not too washed out. I feel like I am a touch, so <clears throat> hopefully I don't regret this, but I'm going to do that. So that hopefully you can see, maybe I could have just turned down the, the light on my mirror that could have also, that could also be throwing it off a bit. There we go. Um, but yeah, we're gonna tap this over. It's tapping on nice. I'm liking how it's looking. It's not like bleeding and melding into that green. Not that I should expect it to because it's such polar, not polar, but they're very drastically different. One's very dark, one's very light. So I'll probably use a little bit of that brown to kind of help marry the two a little bit. Or maybe I'll just go back into the green and see what we can do. I'm gonna take that brush that has that green on it and start down low and then tap up and just see what happens. I don't wanna go too high with this green, but I also don't want there to be a line. That's one of my big pet peeves when it comes to meshing colors together. If I can see a harsh line, it's like, I feel like I either there's something wrong with the product or it's me. Like there's something wrong with the formula if I can't mesh, uh, if I can't blend out a line. But when two different colors come together, usually if I can't mesh it out, it's maybe I'm being too heavy handed. That's also an issue. Anyway, I'm just talking in circles. Let's blend that. That's, that's looking really nice. I think that's a very, it's coming along. The blend is coming along really nicely. I'm going to take more of that yellow, tap it over once again. I'm going to try to stay away from the green to bring it down too low because I don't want to lighten this green at all. I just want to blend out and buff out that orange like that. I think that's a nice, good transition. I need to, like, I forgot to clean my mirror when I was cleaning yesterday. So I'm literally like looking between smudge marks of one of my children who must have grabbed my mirror and like had something on their hands. Cause oh my goodness, there's a lot of tiny handprints on here that I am looking through. But anyway, I'm just so, I'm so glad I have a clean area and clean brushes. Cause like I said, even before I got sick, I was overdue to clean my brushes. I think I had five or six cups full of uh, brushes to clean. So if you enjoy like the ASMR of watching, watching someone clean their brushes, like I said, I'll leave that lady. I think I said, I'll leave the video linked, but uh, that's what I did for a large majority of the video. There were so many brushes to watch to wash. I always say mix wash and watch up. My apologies. Okay. I think that's a nice blend. I think that looks really good. And I am happy with the transition from the, the green to the, um, to the yellow. So I'm just going to go flip onto this side and do it. Um, and yeah, I don't really have any 
specific things to talk about in this video. I'm really excited for the the collaborators. I think it's really cool that they get to come back again. I feel like they're you know the brand was just, is just revisiting the original creators of the legendary Diversa because um, earlier this year or no I guess it would have been last year 24 they did another collab with Angelica Nyquist so I was glad to see that they came back to the the first three. But with that said, I would really like to see them continue the Legendary Diversity Collection with some new creators. I think that would be really cool to, I don't know, you know, I don't know how it is to to run a brand. So maybe they need to, um, you know, they need to meet certain criteria or meet certain sales before expanding it more. Like, I really don't know how any of that works, but I would like to see them um, collab with more creators because I think it's just so neat to get the opportunity to do something like this and to be able to see like let I don't know the legendary diversity collection I think is just such a wonderful opportunity to be able to see what other uh, you know other creators in the sphere could make so I, it would be neat to see some new creators as well I mean not to say that I you know they shouldn't have collabed with these people like I said I'm super glad to see them get the opportunity again but I also would think it's cool if they continue to bring on um, new creators and continue to expand the legendary diversa collection with new creators over this next year or something like that but you'll have to let me know like I said they've done two collabs with Angelica Nyquist and then this will be two with Annette Judy and um, Oh, the fancy face. I'm blanking on her name. I feel so bad. Um, I'm going to have to look it up. It's on the tip of my tongue. But, uh, so out of the six, no, it's six, eight palettes. You have to let me know which is your favorite. I have to really think. I have to play with these new palettes because, like I said, each of the collections are such an interesting twist. Like, they're, I feel like I open them and I'm like, oh, they're more neutral. But then I look at them and I'm like, oh, that's unique. So I need to play with them to see what I think about them because they're so different and interesting. I'm going to go into Oceanic now, right here. And we are going to fluff that with a ES, no, ES6 brush. And I'm going to put that right in here. Like that. Ooh, that's a pretty pastel for sure. Sorry, I'm getting a text. Of course. Okay. Anyway, that is a really pretty, pretty blue. I like that. It's soft, but like I still see it really, really well. That's really, really nice. I'm going to put this on my lap so when it buzzes, it doesn't shake my whole desk and be super distracting to you guys. Okay, so what am I going to do to mesh these two together? I don't know. We're going to bring it up and just gently let them touch. I'm not going to really do much mixing. And then I think I'm going to bring the green. That, that's what I'll use. I'm going to just let them touch just like that. And they're going to go back to that green, to the dark green. And I'm going to bring that as the marrying point between these two. Yeah, that'll be good. These are blending very nicely. And I'm happy to see like with pastels, pastels always make me nervous because like I don't like a pastel that just um, like, I don't know, just looks like a dusty version of the color on my skin. I want it to still stand out and this blue definitely still stands out. So I like that. I like to see that. I'm going to go in with just a wee bit more there. Like that. I don't know if this goes at all, but I think it'll work. <laughs> It'll definitely also help once I put the lid color on, the shimmer on, it'll kind of make everything mesh a little bit better because you won't see where the blue and yellow don't really mesh and meet. It's different, you guys know. I like different and I have, have not had a chance to sit down and play with makeup in over two weeks. And I just, I like to play with makeup. So this is making me super happy for sure. It isn't, this isn't the type of blue I feel like that I can build up and get more intensity because even if I pack on more, it just makes the color brighter, but it doesn't make it darker. So that's nice that it stays a true blue. But if that was something you were curious about, I don't really feel like I could build it up to create a darker blue. I'm just going to take this, touch it upward a little bit, a little bit where these two kind of are meeting. Don't know if that's a good idea, but that's what I feel like. 
And then just make sure everything is meshed. What do we think? I think it's different. I touched down a little bit too much right there. I feel like with my green, cause I see a little bit of green where I want to see only yellow, but that is my own fault. And probably when I, if I put on a wing, you wouldn't be able to tell. No idea if I'll have time to do that, but we'll just pretend I have all the time in the world. <laughs> cause I would, I always like to put on wings when I can. Okay, so that is what we're going with the top. With the bottom, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring that green around, the dark green that I used, but I wanna use something different for the rest of it. So I should probably use a smaller one, but here we are. Just gonna tap a little bit of that right against there. Oh, I hate messing with my lower lashes. I always make weird faces. Okay, like that, and then I want to take a more smaller but still blending type of brush. This will probably do well. Yeah, this is a B1 and I kind of want to take the purple, but I'm going to go in really light because I feel like that purple could be really dark. So I'm going to keep it light and we're going to start out here because if it's darker, that's fine. And I'm just going to bring it in a touch because I, I just want to use the purple somehow in this look. We're just using all the random colors. <laughs> That's the fun of these type of, uh, the palettes that are like unique colors. Like I appreciate palettes like this, that you could go and just get a super simple look. You can hit the browns and put a shimmer and you got it like a simple look so easy. Or you just do the green and the yellow, or you can do these two and get a pretty purple pastel and blue look. But I also like, because there's all these interesting colors together that I can mix and match and get like a really unique and different looking eye look. So I gotta take advantage of that and create something different and unique. So hopefully it'll all come together and make sense like it does in my head as I'm making this up as I go. But yeah, I think that, that it's a little dark. I mean, it wouldn't be bad if this was a little bit lighter. I tend to go lighter on the lower lash line, but it's fine. I don't think it's too dark for my lower lash line more of a smoky color. I'll put on a dark purple, I feel like. Ooh, we'll do this one. I think it's like a, no, that will, a duo might look weird. It's fun. Let's try, oops, just a black. Should we just go with a black? No, here's a dark purple. I think a dark purple will look good. This is from Rimmel. Rimmel? I said that's so weird. This is definitely needs sharpening, but I really don't want to take the time to find my sharpener, so let's see if I can make it work. I always pull down my lid because I can't like do it against my eyeball. My eye is convinced I'm trying to kill it. So it'll like water and blink and make a mess. So I just pull it down a little bit so that I can put this on, but I'm still being gentle. I'm not tugging that hard, if you are curious. I feel like it always looks rough on camera, but when I do it in person, it's it feels like I'm barely, barely pulling. Okay, that was really rough application of that, but that's okay. Let's do the shimmer. I'm going to use this glitter primer from NYX. Oh, I didn't even explain, but I have a uh, paint on my hands. We went to the Home Depot kids workshop. It's always on the first Saturday of every month. My kids absolutely love it. They get to build something all on their own, mostly, you know, parents help. Um, and then they get to paint it to their heart's content and make as much mess as they want there. And then we bring it home and it's a great time. So we did that this morning. <laughs> We did, uh, they were Valentine's Letters Day boxes. So it was actually so simple too. Like it, it actually wasn't complicated, which I was very thankful for because the week before, or week, the month before, what did they have? Oh, they had a, uh, a truck that was like a, you know, those big rigs that truck that carry supplies to different stores. I had one of those and I mean, it wasn't super hard, but it was definitely complicated to the point where like, a lot of parental help was needed for each one of the children and I went by myself because my husband works most weekends. So it was fun. So when I showed up today and it was like a simple little basket, I was like, oh, we can do this, this is nice. Okay, so now, shimmer. What am I gonna put on my lid? I kinda just wanna put this all over my lid, but I feel like I might wanna mix it up. What if we do this? And with a touch of this, I feel like these two, they look like that chunky type of formula where it's more, um, it's got more texture to it. Oh, maybe not. Actually, this is, feels very slick. It looked like that textured formula, but this feels very slick, kind of um, 
super shocky and oh my goodness the intensity is like a metallic beautiful this one feels the same Ooh, that would be nice if they're more metallic-y than chunky uh flaky type of um iridescent shimmer which they yeah you know, they have a formula like that that i don't love so let's do that we're gonna put a little bit of green on the center here and then we'll take the orange over the rest of it um yeah let's do that I'm indecisive, but we're gonna go into serpent scales. That green, it definitely is moving around like that kind of, um, it's not liquid, but like that jelly type of super shock formula. What is that called? Is it like a, a jelly? I don't know. It's like a jelly formula. You can move it around in the pan. Okay, this is not gonna do much with this type of brush. As you can see, it barely transferred, but I actually just cleaned my brushes, so I have one of these guys. This is a little sponge tip applicator, but it's like a, a nice one on a, on a uh, what do you call, a brush, instead of like the little ones you get freebie that I used to always throw out. So these are really nice because it's like using your finger, but you don't have to use your finger, even though my fingers are already dirty, but I like using a brush just to get more of a precise application. And yeah, that's going on much better. Now this type of formula, just looking at it, if you're not careful, I'm trying to make sure I am uh, uh, like looking at what I pick up and if it's too chunky, I'm trying to wipe it off because if you put too much on it, it will be that type of like thick formula where you can almost have like chunks stuck on your lid and I don't want that. So you just have to be a little careful, but very pretty, very sparkly, and nice and opaque. It's not super uh, see-through, which I like. I like my colors to be nice and opaque on my lid. I know see-through iridescent can be pretty, but I like it to just be shiny, sure. Metallic, yeah, but I like it to be pigmented. Okay, very shiny. I was thinking this might be like a super dark shade, but this is honestly a shade you could put all over your lid and it's super bright. Very pretty. So now I'm going to take that brush and let's see if that orange, the Miss Midgard Gleam, and see if that picks up nice. Ooh, this looks like it should pick up nice. This is behaving more just like a typical um, shadow. And we're going to, ooh, wow, place it on there and swipe it. Very pretty. Probably had a little bit too much. I thought it would be hard to pick up, but it picked up just fine. So I have a lot on my brush now. But that's okay. Oh, so pretty. These two are going to go together really pretty. The green and the orange. And I think that pop of like pastel blue is just going to be something interesting on the inner corner. I like it. This is the type of shimmer that I really enjoy from Odin's Eye. Probably one of my favorites next to their um, multichromes because their multichromes are pretty, pretty amazing as well. I love those, but this is just a beautiful, so sparkly shimmer, nice and bright on the lid. I love, I love my shimmers to be bright. I don't love like the super dark type of shimmers and it just glides on really easy. Like, I feel like that was so simple to put on and boom, I'm done. Very pretty. Okay. Let's go in a little bit more. Sorry. I got another text. Um, <clears throat> a little bit more on this side. I'm going to go a little bit more carefully because I did get some fallout here. I have like one speck of fallout from the green, but let's see if I can do less fallout from the orange now that I'm more conscious and being more careful of how easy this shadow was to pick up. Yeah, that's going better. It's almost, it's got like a orange green effect to it. So pretty, like it's orange, but the sparkle is green, if that makes sense. Beautiful. Beautiful, oh my goodness, so, so pretty. And that did a fantastic job, of course. Not that I should expect anything else, but beautiful things from Annette. Annette is a, one of the people who really inspire me, I feel like, especially when I was first getting into color. She really inspired me to like try the weird, or like not to say her looks are everywhere, but to try the weird combinations or just the combinations that almost feel like it, it shouldn't work or like you don't really see be put together and she kind of just made me really comfortable with like wearing a weird look for the day and it's like oh it's a color combination maybe it doesn't always go but it it washes off at the end of the day and it's cool it's a cool different take on the color combination and I liked it and she's one of those people who um really like I said gave me that <laughs> it stopped recording but hopefully you heard most of that I was just saying that Annette was one of those people who really helped me feel more comfortable embracing and like putting weird color combinations together and that's that type of thing but this is pretty much the look 
I'm going to take it a little bit right here, just marry this together. And I think I will take the time to go ahead and put on a wing because I don't hear Sophia yet. So that's awesome. Um, but I'm gonna have to do that off camera just because I don't wanna take that much time in this video to do that. Um, the shimmer is for the most part dusting away. There's like one or two stubborn ones, but on this side where I was more careful applying the, the second shimmer on near the inner part here, uh, barely any, like I think I had two or three little pieces and they're all gone. So I love that. I love when I don't make a mess with my face makeup. So I appreciate that their, sh their shimmer sparkles can be a little forgiving and dusting away. But now I need the inner corner and I want to use Glow Vortex, this shade right here. It looks like it'll be magical. Is it a multi-chrome? Yes, looking at it, in here it looks like pink, but then when I actually use it, I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, it's like green when I go this way. It's green and then holding it upright you see a lot of pink and yellow, hot pink and green yellow and then holding it down here you see like that beautiful it's beautiful it's a multigram so as much as I know that'll be really pretty all over the lid it feels like they're multichromes too because they have a really smooth finely milled multichrome that I absolutely love so a little the multichrome is a little wasted on the inner corner because you can't see all of the intricacy of the um the multichrome but oh I love how finely milled their multichromes are they're just so smooth and beautiful so I'll definitely have to use this one in an eye look soon. Maybe I'll actually be able to get on top of it and record some reels with these pals to put over on Instagram because I can do that even when family's here because I don't have to talk. I don't like recording when I have extended family. I don't even like recording when my husband's home because I usually do these videos when he is uh, at work. So it's my, own, I know it's a me issue, but anyway, this is the look and I like how it turned out for sure. I will go ahead and stick up right here some pictures of the finished look so you guys can see what it looks like with liner, lashes, and you know, all that sort of thing. But I love an interesting color combination that still works and I feel like this is it. Like maybe it's too weird for some people, but for me, it's an interesting color combination that I feel like flows and works really well together and I'm very happy with how everything blended, um, even the drasticness of the orange with the green. I think it blended really nice. There isn't any harsh line. There's a nice gradient between the two. Would it have helped if there was another green, like a medium type of green, or even a darker type of uh, orange to help meld the two? Yes, but I feel like I made it work just fine just having those two. So overall, really happy. I don't have anything to tell you guys when it comes to the wear time, but historically, Odin's Eyes formulas are fantastic for me when it comes to wear. I have relatively oily eyelids and I work outside a lot because we do have a lot of animals that I take care of and I never have a problem with any of their mats disappearing or creating lines in me or in me. Oh my gosh, that sounds terrible, but like on me and um, for the most part with their shimmers, they hold up really well too. Sometimes the more like um, viscous, viscousy, is that a word? The more um, creamy ones or the more flaky ones will like either flake off if they're flaky or create a little bit of lineage or like it's disappearing a little into my eyes, but never to the, uh, like to the such a degree that it looks terrible. I think the only one that I've ever looked and be like, oh yeah, that looks kind of bad are their flaky ones because when they flake off, like they flake off and just like they fall off and then you have a little bare spot. That's the only time that I feel like they don't hold up with my oily eyelids when I'm working outside and the flakes start flaking, so. That's really my only critique with them, but I don't, like I said, I don't think any of these, yeah, are flaky, because the only one I didn't touch is this one, and this one is looking like, yeah, it's like this orange one. It's a very creamy, more of an iridescent color, but it's that creamy color, uh, formula like the orange, so. Hopefully that helps you guys if you're looking if you're looking at these palettes and just want to see what type of look you can create and also my thoughts on them. I'm sorry I can't give you guys a full review or multiple looks with these palettes. You you know I love to do that, but I just can't right now. So hopefully yeah I, I can do this one. So that's what I wanted to do. And like I said, do be on the lookout. Hopefully in a couple days. I don't know when I'm posting this video up because I have to wait for them to announce it. But hopefully around when it releases, I will come back and we will. Oh my goodness. I forgot the lipstick, but we'll also do um, Judy and the uh, Tina, Tina, the fancy face. We'll do her palettes as well, but I almost forgot. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Mm, should I do the, I'm gonna do one of the glows. 
no, the shine. The glow is that um, the clear one. I'm gonna do one of the glows. I'm gonna do the brown one because I feel like that'll look really good. This is called Snake Kiss. Packaging is so pretty. And I, like I said, I like a gloss because I feel like it just, the glossy look is very, you know, looks good on your, uh, your lips, but I like it to be opaque. I don't like the see-through ones. So this one, and I think I remember it with the last ones, but they're, they're not super opaque. They're not as like opaque as I feel like the, um, Maybelline, oh, I, it's in my purse. That's how much I use it. But the Maybelline Lip Lifter in Stone, that's my favorite color. They're not as opaque as that but they're pretty opaque. They're just a little less than that. But they still give a lot of color. That's probably the worst application I've ever done, and it's probably because you talk, Katie, when you're trying to put What do you think is gonna happen? Anyway. Let's just pretend I was an absolutely terrible at that, and absolutely crazy trying to talk and do that at the same time. I took some of it off this side. Did I say this is no wait, not Breath of Fire. This is, yeah, I said Snake's Kiss. So we're gonna not talk. So I don't repeat my mistakes. Yes, I realize I'm still talking, but anyway. I think that's really pretty. Definitely a good, like, every day. This is one that I, especially this color, because if I do my makeup, I like a little bit of color to my lips. And this stone has, uh, it's almost like a nude, but it's great for if I don't have a lot of makeup on or I have no makeup on. But this is a pretty color. If I have some makeup on and I want to put a lip gloss on, this is a great color that I would go for, for sure. And then the other one, Mystic Rose, is just a little bit more rosy. So that, this is now the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for Odin's Eye for sending this over. A huge congratulations to Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner, uh, the Fancy Face. Tina from the Fancy Face and then Judy. Her YouTube channel is just called Judy, but huge congratulations to them for getting to collab again. Y'all did an outstanding job. Like, I feel like all of them, there's such a uniqueness to them. Can't wait to try the other two. Had so much fun trying the Mighty Monsters. And yeah, I cannot wait to hear y'all's thoughts down below. Let me know what you think. I will try to put some more content on uh, my Instagram page. It's LadyKatie92. I'll definitely put some close-up shots of these looks over there for sure. And yeah, with all that said, that is going to do it for me. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.